Aptera Towing Capacity All you need to know We're learning more and more about Aptera's SUV with each passing day, thanks to the Gamma Reveal at Fully Charged Live. One recent revelation is that Aptera will provide tow bolts for attaching towing anchors to the SUV. And while this addresses some questions for Aptera fans and enthusiasts, there are still some critical details regarding this that have yet to be confirmed. Aptera's maximum towing capability appears to be a gray area. What is Aptera's maximum towing capacity? For Aptera's specs, what is the maximum load it can tow? These are the questions we'll be answering in today's video. Remember to like the video if you're enjoying our content. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications in order to stay connected. So what exactly is towing capacity? The greatest amount of weight your vehicle can safely draw varies depending on how it's configured, how much weight it's already hauling, and how you distribute and control the load you need to tow. In discussing towing capacity, some associated terms are resonant. Gross Vehicle Weight Rating GVWR, is the maximum amount of weight a vehicle can hold while sitting still. Gross Trailer Weight GTW, is the total weight of your trailer and its cargo. If you weighed the fully loaded trailer on a scale, the result would be the gross trailer weight. Gross Combined Vehicle Weight Rating GCVWR, is the maximum weight of your tow vehicle and trailer combined, both loaded with all cargo. The tow vehicle and trailer each have their own separate gross vehicle weight rating numbers, which combined make up the gross combined vehicle weight rating. Curb weight is the total weight of a vehicle and all the fluids it requires to function, including a full tank of gas, but with no people or cargo inside it. Curb weight differs from gross vehicle weight rating, which is a measurement of how much a vehicle can carry. There are some terms associated with towing calculations, but we're trying to keep the video short. So, we're not going to detail all the terms. These should suffice. Now, for Aptera, we're still at the Gamma phase, the second of three production phases for the solar electric vehicle. And so far, we are yet to have official figures for the car, yet alone a VIN plate number. That said, it isn't altogether impossible to estimate the towing capacity of the car. Though we don't yet know exactly what the maximum towing capacity would be, we have found a way to estimate those figures and give a forecast of what to expect. So, how to calculate your car's maximum towing capacity? To find a car's towing capacity, you need to subtract the curb weight from the gross combined vehicle weight rating. Towing capacity equals gross combined vehicle weight rating minus curb weight. This calculation does not consider anything outside your truck other than full fluid levels. It does not account for passengers or cargo. If you want to find how much you can realistically tow, you need to subtract the amount of freight and passengers in the vehicle too. The gross combined vehicle weight rating includes both what you have inside the truck as well as what you carry behind it. Now, if the mass of the caravan is 85% or less of the car's curb weight, the car will tow it with ease. If it's between 85% and 100%, be careful. Only experienced caravan drivers should use that car to tow such a heavy van. But if the caravan is heavier than the car, then it is strongly recommended not to use it to tow that caravan. This calculation is known by experts as outfit matching. Deducing at Terra's Towing Capacity Now with all that background out of our hair, Let's go ahead and attempt to estimate Aptera's maximum towing capacity. And if you've been paying attention, then you know that a crucial requirement for this calculation of the gross combined vehicle weight rating. Unfortunately, with Aptera still under development and the Delta is still on its way, we can't get a ready-made figure for this quantity. So we just have to do some calculations to estimate it. So we know that curb weight plus cargo weight plus passenger weight equals gross vehicle weight rating. Now we also know that gross vehicle weight rating plus gross trailer weight equals gross combined vehicle weight rating. This implies that gross combined vehicle weight rating equals curb weight plus cargo weight plus passenger weight plus gross trailer weight. And therefore, towing capacity equals cargo weight plus passenger weight plus gross trailer weight. Remember the outfit matching rule? We said that if the trailer weight is 85% or less of the car's curb weight, the car will tow it conveniently. 
So for this illustration, we'd assume that the maximum trailer weight equals the 85% of the vehicle's curb weight. That implies towing capacity equals cargo weight plus passenger weight plus curb weight times 0.85. Now, from an Aptera FAQ sheet published back in December of 2020, we know that Aptera is designed to carry a 500-pound payload of passengers and cargo, or a max of 300 pounds in the rear cargo if you only have the driver. So, feeding this information into our working formula, we have towing capacity equals 2200 times 0.85 plus 500 equals 2370 pounds. We do admit, however, that these calculations are quite rough and far from exact, but should give some clue to the shoddy area. In any case, as we draw closer and closer to Delta's reveal and production of the Aptera SEV, more accurate figures will be released, and we'll be sure to keep you posted. But what do you think of our calculations? Could they be accurate? Will Aptera be able to tow such weight? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. And that's where we wrap things up for today. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe to help the channel grow and cover more energy-related innovations. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification feature to stay current. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.